since I'm stuck in my room, why not make it livable and cute? Because we like that. This one! <laughs> Welcome to my channel. This is Sarah, is Sarah, is Sarah. Today I am going to try to redecorate and transform my room for under $100. This is my childhood room that I've had forever and now that I'm back, I'm working on a career change, deciding where I want to go with that and potentially go back to school. Blue and green, 15 year old Sarah was about this, but now as 20 something year old Sarah, I think I need a little change. I really need a room that is very conducive for studying, meditating, and just feeling feeling myself. And I feel like this is really not the expression of myself that I would like to show. Yeah, that's a situation. Yeah, it's time. <laughs> swatches that I picked up from the hardware store. I am actually going for a more of it like a muted gray lilac lavender color. I think that'll go really well with a lot of different decor in here. Oh my gosh, look at me. I was so cute. I'm still cute, but I mean, I'm not going to change everything because I won't be here forever, but huh, I say that now, but watch me be here like eight years later. I feel like I'm definitely a lot more okay with more of like a boho, slightly mismatched, but cute kind of aesthetic. I'm really excited to decorate my room for under $100, so I'm gonna start with getting rid and donating a lot of my old books and childhood items too. This one <laughs> actually seems to have a contrast with the ceiling, which is white. So I don't know, it might be promising. Who knows? Ah, I'm getting closer. So I did second coats for these guys and I still wasn't happy because just the, the way that lighting is set up in my room, like those were not it. I actually went back and <laughs> got more swatches because I didn't want to invest in a whole gallon if I didn't like the color. The slightest difference, but this is more of the lilac-y hue that I was going for, and then this one is super purple. And actually this one is named Wild Lilac, and this one is Lavender Haze, I believe. So I'm gonna start prepping the walls, wiping everything down, getting all the grime off, and then moving all of these things. Actually, I think I'm gonna start with this wall because I just wanna get the hard things out of the way first. This really big suitcase situation over here. I might have to, um, is it just me or does this shape kind of look like a manta ray, you know? Like that sea creature, yes. My thought is that if I paint this first, then whatever white that splatters, I'll just, you know, cover it up with the purple but you know i was actually kind of undecided at first because i thought i wanted to do a gray like a gray lilac but then i realized i wanted some color so then yeah <laughs> like to formally thank everyone who was involved in this process. I was able to find my one. After only about a week, I I found her and I'm so excited to start this journey together. You know, in the beginning, I just really started off in my mind with a very specific vision of more like a gray 
But, you know, the more that I, I, I met different swatches, I realized, you know, maybe that wasn't what I was looking for and that I should open my mind more. So I ended up, you know, getting back out there into the paint aisle and then, you know, lo and behold, I gave one a chance and I just realized, you know, you were the one for me. So my mind is completely open to lavender hues now. So I'm really excited to see where this goes and I'm excited for our future together. So yeah. What is my method for the madness of cleaning up my room? I do like Marie Kondo, although I'm not quite as organized as her. But what I will take away from her method is that I will do sentimental things last. I don't have that many things other than probably just, um, I guess I'm like childhood plushies, but I think I'm gonna start with books and school supplies and such. What do you think, Falta? Every room is his room, so. As dissatisfied as I am with this room, I'm also very thankful for it because this is where I grew up and this is where he grew up. The first night that we brought him home from the shelter, he was just a wee pup and he had his little cage right here and this is where he slept for his first night. I've grown a lot here in this space. I've also cried a lot, laughed a lot, so. Transforming the space is also me moving on with my next phase of life, even though I am back in my childhood house. So, I'm really ready for this change. I have all my tools ready. I have my ceiling paint. All right, let's do a let's do a little review of this kit. Oh, something I'm learning is that painting is a lot of work. I really didn't think it was gonna be all that, but just the prep work alone is 
And then the materials, having to choose the right color. You know, I'm excited. I think this is, it's cute. Yeah, so I got this off Amazon. I, I mean, honestly, it was just a really good deal. It was like 11 pieces for $20, so. It did not come with an extension pole, so I had to buy that myself. And I have some drop cloths I'm gonna use. Oh, hold on, I have a Pokemon one. Technically it's not a drop cloth, it's just plastic tablecloth, but I've had this since childhood and I'm gonna put it to good use now. So that has been this for this week for my room transformation for under $100. And I'll show you all the receipts and the paint and how everything else turns out after I redo everything. So thanks for watching my room transformation. Uh, yeah, so I'm gonna start with getting rid and doting. <laughs> it's a plastic paper. Blah, blah.